Andre, thank you for showing us the Osmo camera today. We wanted to do a one-shot scene. And, you know, apparently this Osmo camera is the best tool for this. Can you explain us why? Yeah, our goal today was to illustrate a very short and spontaneous scene of a guy uh, looking and boarding a train at the station. So we went there, um, staged it very quickly with you, shot it um, and reviewed the footage instantly on the Osmo, adopted the feedback and then shot it. So it was all done in 30 minutes. Let's jump into the scene to look what we did. We start our scene very close, so the people don't really know where you are here. So you look at the cards, and then we start walking and you follow us. And now we're going behind you and introducing the main station to tell our story where we are. We're setting the stage. To walk there, it's very unintrusive and very easy. We follow you, you see how stable the shots are, and we can focus on what's going on in the scenery. And then I move behind your shoulder again to see where you are looking at. You're looking at the board. So usually we, we cut here to tell this story. And now I go back up and I can easily go around you to show what's happening around you without disturbing anybody. And then we start walking again. I'm in front of you. You're now looking for your track. Now I go very tight around the corner and that adds more dynamic to the shot. And if we jump a little bit ahead in the scene, we see you start running in order to get your train on time. So I start running with you and, and you see the image is still very stable. And when you finally bought the train, we wrap up our scene and it's done. And all the things you just saw, uh, it's impossible to create that kind of stable shot with a handheld camera. Your only option is a, like a big Steadicam, which is expensive, which is difficult to use. Um, and with the Osmo we can immediately start. We're ready to shoot within minutes and can do these amazing shots.